Sandra and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to go through all of the books that I read in the fall. So these are books that I read in October and November and I actually officially started my reading hobby in October. So I read a total of 10 books this fall and they were books in five different genres. So I read books in contemporary fiction, mystery, romance, historical fiction, and suspense slash thriller. And before I start going over all of these books, I do want to say that some of them do have trigger warnings. So I'm going to put the trigger warnings for each book down in the description. Please take a look at those warnings down below. Okay. So I'm going to talk about the first book that I read. And this book is the reason why I started this reading hobby because it was so good. And that book is The Guest List by Lucy Foley. This book is a mystery thriller. And it's about these people that go to an island for a wedding and somebody ends up dying but they don't know who it was or how that person died so they're trying to figure out what is happening you have all of these different characters telling you their point of view of the same story so it can get a little bit confusing which is why I gave it a four out of five star rating but it was so good I really thought I knew exactly what was happening and I thought I guessed the plot twist but I definitely didn't I was wrong every single time and that's what made it so good because I thought I I knew exactly what was happening but I didn't. The second book I read after that one was this book called Now is Not the Time to Panic by Kevin Wilson. My cat actually started scratching. This book I did not really like. I gave it two stars. It's about this lady who's telling you the story of like something that happened one summer 20 years ago that she's like still not over she was telling the same story over and over again and i was just like okay like move on but then the book ended and nothing really happened and i was definitely not invested in this story but i thought something else was gonna happen at the end but nothing really happened so that's why i gave it two stars the third book that i read was a suspense book and this one was really really good it's called behind closed doors i really loved this book this book is about this married couple that seem like they're so perfect to all of their friends but in reality there's like some crazy stuff happening inside their house um, that nobody else knows about. I was rooting for Grace the entire time. I was really hoping that I got the ending correct. The entire time I was like, if this doesn't happen, I'm gonna be so upset. And I was so invested in the story. The guy that Grace is married to is evil. Like, he's like one of the most evil people I've ever read about. I'm so glad that this story is not true because I know that if it was true, if I was reading a real story, I would not be able to handle reading all of the things that I read. And I totally gave it a five star rating because it was so, so amazing. The next book is also a five star rating. And this one actually surprised me because I was very nervous to start the book because it's a Colleen Hoover book and it's the book It Ends With Us. I know that Colleen Hoover is very controversial. You either love her or you hate her. There's no really in between. And I was so nervous to start this book, but I read the first chapter. I was hooked, you know? This is a contemporary fiction book. I just, I loved the story. I laughed, I cried, I punched some pillows because I was so upset. Like I've never had a book give me all of those emotions and it was just great. So this is a five star rating. I know, I know that it's gonna be very controversial, but to me, it's five stars. The next one is another controversial book. Actually, it's not a controversial book. I think my rating of it is gonna be very like not typical because everybody on Goodreads gave it like four stars, five stars, you know? and I gave it two and a half stars, and that is The Silent Patient by Alex Michaela. I don't know how to say his last name, but The Silent Patient. This book is supposed to be a psychological thriller, but it just, it was really slow for me. There was like a lot of buildup. There was like two different stories going on and they were like so different from each other. I didn't understand why i was reading two different stories i know the plot twist happened and it did have potential but it wasn't enough to make up for the rest of the book so that's why it was a 2.5 stars for me i'm still gonna say go and read this book because i know that 
some people will love this book and I can understand why I can see why people love it but for me it just was not enough the next book that I'm going to talk about is also very popular and it's actually a show so I watched the show before I read this book and I really like the show except the ending I didn't like the ending of the show and I didn't like the ending of the book and that is Normal People by Sally Rooney this book has been on TikTok and Bookstagram a lot. It's contemporary fiction and it is a really good story about these two people that I feel like they're meant to be together, like soulmates kind of. They're always attracted to each other, but it's always just the wrong timing. And I really like that the book gives so much detail about the characters, like their thoughts and their feelings and why they do the things that they do. The ending was still very frustrating because there was no actual conclusion so I gave it a 3.5 stars. This book does have like very deep characters and you see their growth throughout their journey. So if you like that, you'll enjoy this book. I didn't hate it, but I also didn't love it. The next book is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. And this book right here, I'm saying it now, is my favorite book that I've read so far. It's five out of five stars for me. And it's historical fiction. This story follows two sisters who live in France during the World War II time period. It starts off with like the two sisters who live in France and then the Germans come and invade France. So it's about their experience going through that. It has a lot going on. It goes into detail with like everything that happens to them. And this I'm going to say right now read the trigger warnings i was very emotionally invested in this book and in the characters and when something happens to the characters i like felt it i definitely cried throughout this book but it's so so good i also read the last thing he told me by laura dave and this one was a mystery thriller type thing it was about like this lady trying to figure out what's going on with her husband after he like kind of disappears i gave this a three star because nothing really happened she was trying to figure out why he ran away and like his backstory and like she figured it out but then nothing came after that it's still really good and they did make a show so i started watching the show but it's very similar to the book which is why i'm probably not going to finish the show i think it's a good book it's a good story it just wasn't for me but i read one young adult book that i loved i loved when i was a teenager i was so obsessed with this book and i was obsessed with this author and it is the book just listen by sarah destin i used to love sarah destin so much when i was a teenager and just listen was one of the first books that i read by her and i fell in love with it it's contemporary fiction and it follows this teenage girl she's a sophomore in high school and it just follows her story about something that happened to her and the way that it affects her herself and her relationships around her and then she meets this guy named Owen who's really into music and he really helps her discover who she is what life is about and definitely some trigger warnings in this book so make sure you read those I think I gave it a four star 4.5 star and the last book that I'm going to talk about is actually a reread I read this book last year but I'm rereading it again so that I can watch the show on Apple TV. And that is the book Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmis. This book I really loved. I gave it a four stars. I think last time I gave it like a five star review the first time I read it. But then I like reread it and now it's a four star. Just because there's some things that are like very super unrealistic. And I was like okay like that's pushing it a little bit. So that's why it's a four star for me now after I reread it. It. but this is also a historical fiction i think i like the historical fiction books those seem to be my favorite right now there are some trigger warnings too so make sure you read those but it's so good and it's about this lady who lives in the 50s and is like not following the typical role of a woman in the 50s i'm excited to see the show after rereading this book Okay, so those are all the books that I read this fall in October and November. If you read any of these books, please let me know in the comments. And please let me know what you thought about each book or if you're planning to read any of them. I'm currently putting together my December slash winter TBR list. 
So if you have any book recommendations for me to add to my list, please, please, please let me know down in the comments. I know that I haven't read any fantasy and any rom-coms, but I am adding those two genres to my winter TBR list. I'm a little bit nervous about starting rom-coms. I'm not a rom-com movie type girl. I don't choose to watch rom-coms. Like I only watch it if other people make me watch it. So I'm nervous about reading rom-com books but I know that I wanna go out of my comfort zone and read those. If you wanna be up to date and see what I'm currently reading, go and follow me on Instagram because it's slowly turning into my bookstagram and I put updates on the books that I'm currently reading on there. But yeah, I'm gonna end the video right here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.